Diana is back, and this time with all three perks. In a previous video, I showcased how I made 3 billion coins during Diana, and in this video, I'll share all the tips and tricks so that you can do the same. Okay. There's definitely some hidden techniques that you can use, but before I reveal them, we have a couple of other things we should look at. To simplify killing Inquisitors, you'll always want the person with looting 5 to get the kill, and you'll always want to have your maximum magic find out when they do kill it. Let's look at an example using real data. If I were to kill my own Inquisitor with a looting 5 weapon, and I had 400 magic find, then the game says I would have an 8.75% chance to get a Chimera book. However, if I were to use a looting 4 weapon, but I still wanted that 8.75% chance to get a Chimera book, then I would need 446.875 magic find. Now, there is one exception to these rules, and it has to deal with loot share. Anytime you loot share from someone else's boss, you only have one-fifth the chance to get loot. This means that instead of that 8.75% chance to get a Chimera, you only have a 1.75% chance. Also, if you loot share a rare drop from someone, then it will actually tell you the killer's magic find in chat. But that's just a bug. The game is still actually using your own magic find. Let's get into the tips, tricks, and secrets of the trade. First up, the basics. You basically always want to be in a six-person party, where at least one person has a looting five that can kill for your group. Also, if you have Enderman Slayer level 9, you'll get a higher Inquist spawn chance and likely have more invites to more parties. Next up is Armor, Melee vs Mage. Typically, if you go Mage during Diana, you can expect to dig more burrows. This is due to having faster kill time and travel time from having more mana. The best armor sets for this are either Storm's Armor with Wither Goggles, or if you're rich enough, you can use Godroll Aurora. This set is most ideal for the early to mid game players. So what about melee? The benefit of using melee is that you can use Crimson Armor. This allows you to still deal great damage, but you get the additional bonus of using Magic Find on your gear. This will increase your chances for Daedalus Sticks and Minos Relics. Plus, you won't need to swap armor for any Inquisitors. There's also some extremely useful mods that'll make burrow navigation easier so you don't blow through all of your mana instantly. I'll be sharing my texture packs and mods when we hit 1k subs, so make sure to like and subscribe while you're here. It might give you good Diana luck too. Next up's equipment. The Rift Necklace gives you the max amount of magic find, so that should be a no-brainer. For all of my other equipment, I use Molten Gear with magic find and mana regen, but that's just my preference. After that, we have weapons. There's really only two good weapons that are in discussion if you want to have a great Diana. The first, of course, is the Hyperion. It's the best in slot weapon for mages. And second, the Daedalus Axe. This is the best magic find weapon, so you'll want to hold on to this to get more magic find during Inquisitors. You can also use the Daedalus Axe as your primary weapon if you decide to go melee. This way you'll get the bonus magic find on all of the mobs you kill. Next up, we have to talk pets and pet rules. The first pet you'll need is a griffin pet, duh. After that, we're going to have to use a magic find pet. Ideally, we'd use a golden dragon, but if that's not affordable, you can go with a black cat. The third pet we'll need is the rat pet. Some of you guys might already know the tech about using rat pet, but I have some additional hidden tech that you guys should know about. We'll get into that shortly. For our pet rules, there's some variation here. But you'll want one rule that says when you dig a burrow, equip a griffin pet. You'll want another rule that says on mythological creature kill, summon your magic find pet. Lastly, people also set up a rule for when they cast their fishing rod. This is preference. I have my rule to equip the griffin pet when I throw my rod, but some people prefer their pet rule equip their magic find pet when they cast their rod. Again, this is all preference. For the rest of our tech and other things you should know before Diana's office, I have a couple of items. First up, you'll want to use legion on your magic find armor. I promise you it really does make a difference. Now I use a mod that tracks how many inquisitors I've spawned, and I record my bestiary ahead of time. This way, I can calculate how many Chimera books I should have been expected to get during the event. If you want to make some more money, I'd suggest selling your Ancient Claws to NPC as you go. You'll make a lot more money doing this. I'd also recommend having booster cookies active. You'll earn a ton of bits during the event, which you can sell back for a crazy amount of money and even buy your cookies back. If you're having trouble during melee phase, I'd recommend using a gyrokinetic wand and a fire free staff to help keep your Inquisitor in place. Lastly, and most importantly for hidden tech, 
we want to make sure you're using your rat pet properly. Through extensive research and testing, my group found that the only way to get the rat's blessing drop for you is if you gave cheese to the person that last hit the boss. This means that your six man parties will want the person that got the most rat buffs applied to them to kill the inquisitors, unless the person that spawned the inquisitor got even as little as one rat buff on them. Then that person will kill. Also, for best practice, you'll want everybody to get their hits in on the boss immediately, and then they can swap to their rat pet. Once the boss is at 300%, the killer should be made known who they are. And once the boss is at about 350%, everybody should swap off their rat pet and the killer should slay the Inquisitor. Now, you'll have to mess around with those numbers with your group, and with better gear, you can even take the Inquisitor up to 500% but you'll have to see where your group is most comfortable and test the waters. Keep in mind that this scenario is assuming everybody is using looting five and everybody can kill their inquisitors with their magic find set out. This rat pet tech is enhanced for late game players, but could still be used by anybody. What we're currently looking at are two clips from the most recent Diana, where my friend Toby was able to get two Chimera books via rat pet. He actually has more occasions where this happened, but we don't have the clips for it here. To summarize everything in three steps, one, it's imperative you have a person with looting five kill all inquisitors. Two, always have your maximum magic find set out for those bosses. Three, if possible, use the rat pet to buff magic find and increase your chances on getting chimera. If you wanna have a look at my most recent Diana where I made over three billion coins, follow the link at the end of this video. Also, make sure you subscribe and like the video for extra Diana luck. Thanks for watching.